everyone. It is Saturday, August uh, 17th. I'm trying to remember what the date was. And welcome to the Knitting Pastor Vlogcast. I am Heather. I am your host. Um, I am a United Methodist pastor of two uh, small member rural congregations in um, mid-Michigan. And I live in my home with my two children um, who are almost 14 now. Crazy. And nine, Abby and Philip, and our Rhodesian Ridgeback Flint, who does make an appearance from time to time. If you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, thank you for checking me out. Um, if you are new, you this isn't a typical podcast. Um, I do things a little bit differently. I call them a vlogcast because it's part vlogging, it's part podcast. Um, I kind of vlog throughout the week, uh, kind of what's going on with me and my life, with my knitting, with my ministry. So you get to see a little bit of that. Um, but it is mostly focused on knitting. Because of my schedules being very hectic and busy, I don't really have time to sit down and record like a full podcast. So I do shorter videos throughout the week. However, at the beginning of the week, I do always sit down and kind of do a, what I've, what my knitting progress has been. And then at the end of the week, I do a similar thing and I can kind of see how things have gone throughout the week. So I'm going to jump into that right now. Um, I do have a finished object this week. I did finish my spindrift shawl, which I believe, which I had work cast on last time. Um, and so I did finish that and this is it. Um, so I am not, I, it looks fine now that it's all done and blocked out, but I, I really was not super crazy about the pooling and the way that this colorway knit up. Um, the colorway is from Ba Wool, their La Jolla base, and the colorway is called Violet Martini. Um, so this is the Sprendiff shawl. It's a pattern by Helen Stewart, which is a really nice uh, single skein project. Um, if you have like a single skein that you don't want to make socks out of or you don't know what to do with it, this is actually a really nice project. It's very simple. If you've never knit a shawl before, it would be a good starter because um, it's mostly stockinette and then there is like this eyelet portion at the bottom. And once it's done and it's blocked, the size is really quite nice. Like if I were to wear this, it really makes for a nice little, a little shawl scarf. So it really is a very nice, nice size for that. Um, it's not going to be one that you would necessarily like toss around you and wrap up in because it's just not quite big enough for that. Um, but it would be, you know, a nice little, a little wrap for, for that would work as well. Um, so that is finished. My plan for this, and I mentioned this last time, is I'm going to give this to my aunt. She has a granddaughter who likes to steal a prayer shawl that I had knit for her a couple of years ago when she had um, kidney cancer. And it's, the prayer shawl is obviously very meaningful to my aunt, and she would really rather her eight-year-old granddaughter not play with it or ruin it. So I thought that I would give this to her um, so that when her granddaughter comes over, instead of going to her shawl, she would have this little shawl that she could she could wrap up in. And for an eight-year-old, this, this is a nice size just for that. So that's my plan for, for my Spindrift shawl. The other thing that I finished is I did finish another little baby sock. Oh, well, I say baby sock, but they're not for babies. Um, this is a little sock for an advent calendar that I am going to be gifting. The, the yarn is from last year, so 2018's advent calendar from Molly of a Homespun House, and I'm just trying to use up that yarn, and so I have been knitting these little socks. This is my fourth one. Um, like once a week, I knit a little sock, which is nice because then I have something that I've finished. And it is kind of satisfying, and I'm using up scraps of yarn. Depending on how much of that is left, I'm either putting a square in my cozy memory blanket, or I'm just putting it into a magic knot ball for, um, for my granny stripe blanket. And then the only other thing that I am working on are still these vanilla socks for my son Philip. Um, I am almost now to putting in the cuff, so here they are. He wanted them to be long. Um, I've got one more like repeat of the stripes and then I'll put in the cuff. So I'm almost done with these. So yeah, that's kind of where my knitting has been. 
I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to cast on next. I may cast on a pair of socks for myself, um, or I may do like a full-size shawl, or I have yarn to work on um, Andrea Maury's um, Comfort Fade cardigan which is a DK weight cardigan, but I might wait and cast that on a little bit later in the year once the weather um, is a little cooler because a DK weight sweater is a pretty heavy, big project um, and would be quite warm to carry around or to even have on my lap while I'm at home. So I'm not sure yet what the next thing is going to be. I'm not sure when I'll cast it on either. Uh, probably not today. I've been, uh, there's a big festival that happens in the town that one of my churches is in, in the town that I live in. And my church has a little building where they sell homemade pies and like walking tacos and nachos and things like that to raise money for missions. So um, I was working at that earlier and then I'm gonna have to go pick up Philip before too awful long. So I probably won't get anything new cast on. If I'm gonna work on anything, it'll probably be these these socks for right now. And so yeah, that's that's that. So i am got this thing started off. I'm gonna go uh, finish getting things around for my services tomorrow and I will check in with you all later. Monday, August 19th now, and it is the first day of school. I've dropped Philip off and I ran down to the gym um, and I just had a little bit of a workout. I don't have a lot of time today while they're at school um, because it's only a half day. And Abby has diving practice afterwards, but Philip is out at noon. So I figured I'd come take a quick workout and then I have to go back and pick them up. There is a situation that I won't go into as far as like busing with my kids. Uh, this year at the beginning of the year and they don't have any buses at the moment uh, so that's creating some challenges hopefully it will be resolved quickly and I won't have to take them to and pick them up from school every single day um, because it is a bit of a drive from where I live but we're navigating that and hopefully that'll all work out okay um, Philip was very excited about back to school I did not get to see Abby this morning. She was with her dad, and so he was taking her, so I didn't get to see her, um, which was a, kind of a bummer because it's her first day of high school, and I would have liked to have seen her. Sorry, my face is really red. Like I said, I was just at the gym, so and I haven't like fully cooled all the way down, even though I've had a shower. Um, so now I'm going to go uh, work in a coffee shop for about an hour before I have to go pick Philip up from school. Then he and I will get some lunch and get some groceries and then we'll pick up Abby and then we'll go home. So that is, that is my Monday. I hope you guys are, your week is off to a good start and I'll talk to you later. So I cast on the other day a new sock and this is the Cornish Cream Tea Sock by Helen Stewart of A Curious Handmaid. This is pattern number four in the Homemade Sock Society. And I'll turn it this way so you can kind of see how it will look. Um, like actually being worn and it is a really beautiful pattern um, I it's hard to kind of get much of a view of it right now because these will stretch out a little bit more when they're actually on your foot but it is this really beautiful um, pattern that is really just just quite stunning in the picture and so I'm really excited in how these are going to to knit up and because they're patterned like this they actually knit really quickly because you're like well I'm going to knit a little bit more to get to the next row and it, so they're knitting up pretty quickly I just cast these on um, well I cast them on Sunday so I did the cuff and then I've done you know most of this yesterday not really much today today's Tuesday 
I haven't really done much today because it's still afternoon and I haven't really taken any time to knit. But yeah, I, I really like how they're turning out. This yarn is yarn that I dyed myself, actually. It's some leftovers that I had from my featherweight cardigan that I knit. I had about 35 grams, like two different cakes of about 35 grams. So I decided that I would knit a pair of socks out of them because that's that's right for the amount of yarn that I would use for a sock for my foot. I only use about 65, maybe 70 grams of yarn for for a sock, a pair of socks that's of a decent leg length. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this is what is currently on, on my needles and this is what I decided to cast on. Hi guys, it is now Sunday um, evening, August 25th, and I realized that I needed to wrap up this vlog for this week. Um, this week was kind of chaotic, it felt like. The kids went back to school and there was a lot of just kind of running around and doing stuff and getting readjusted, so there isn't a whole lot of, um, of content this week because there was just a lot of getting kind of back into the swing of things and whatnot and um, yeah so the kids did have their first week uh, back to school uh, which went well they both seem to be happy with um, the school year Philip likes his teacher Abby is good with most of her teachers there's a couple that she's not like super crazy about but you know you can't win them all right um, diving has started for her and that's going really well. Um, she's practiced every day after school from 3 to 5.30, so it's quite long. Um, we're still sorting out busing situations, which I don't really want to go into because it's really frustrating and I don't want it to turn into, like, I am ranting and raving about this because I could really easily, easily turn into that. So. I have gotten a fair amount of knitting done uh, this week, surprisingly enough. I um, I think we could call this week the week of the sock because that's pretty much all I have knit the whole week is socks. Um, I did finish Philip's socks, his toe up, um, super long socks that he wanted. Um, so those are both, both done. Um, I do have to deal with those ends but other than that they're they're done and he is happy because he was asking me about these this week when his socks were going to be done speaking of philip he is in the shower so if you're hearing strange noises i don't know if you can hear him or not but he's making odd noises in the shower because he's a nine-year-old boy and nine-year-old boys make strange noises so yeah so his socks are done so i'm glad about that because um yeah these took a while because they're super super long so since one pair of vanilla socks was done, I needed to cast on another pair of vanilla socks because I went yesterday on Saturday with my mom to see a movie, so I needed socks to knit while I was at the movie. So I just grabbed a pair, of, a ball of Knit Picks Felici, and I cast on a new pair of vanilla socks, which I think are going to be really cute. And I knit um, this in the movie, so that was pretty good. This is, um, this colorway is called Spring Blooms. This is from, like, two years ago, I think, so um, it's been a while since this is this colorway has been out, but I think these are going to be a fun, a fun pair of socks. I'm going to do an afterthought heel with them. I've never done an afterthought heel before, so that will be, that will be an adventure to see how that goes. So I'll keep you posted when I get to that point. Right now, though, I'm just going to knit a tube. Um, I think I am going to do um, the toes and the heel in a contra or in a different color um, because I want to get as much out of this one 50 gram ball of Felici as I can. Um, they won't be as long as some of my other socks, but they will be a little bit taller than shorties. So these are my vanilla socks that I have going. I did finish another little tiny baby sock for an advent calendar. Um, so this is the fifth one. Again, these are from 
uh, Molly of a Homespun House, her 2018 advent calendar, which I knit a dust of snow wrap out of, and I'm taking the leftovers, and I am making these little advent socks that I'm going to gift an advent calendar to David um, with little, like, um, encouraging sayings in them to just kind of give him a bit of a perk, a perk up at the end of the year. So I thought that that would be kind of nice. So this is the fifth one that I have done with that. And then I cast on um, the Cornish Cream Tea Socks by Helen Stewart of A Curious Handmaid. These are the fourth, I think, um, pattern in the Handmade Sock Society season two. And these have been flying. So I cast this on Monday, I think, and I finished one sock on Friday. So here it is. I'm going to show you the, the pattern. It is beautiful and it looks amazing on. Um, so yeah, I did. This is yarn that was left over from my um, featherweight cardigan that I had just really enough that I could do a pair of, of socks out of. There was about 65, 70 grams of that left, which is really the number, the amount that I need for a pair of socks for me because my feet are not, they're not really all that big. But I followed it almost exactly like the pattern, although I did do a twist, a one by one twisted rib cuff, and the pattern calls for a two by two regular rib, but I did a twisted rib. Um, I did do the heel flap and gusset with them, and I have it like this because you can see the, the beautiful, beautiful pattern on it. So I finished these, and then yesterday, I finished those Friday, and then yesterday, Saturday, I cast on um, the second one. And so here I am on the second sock. I'm three repeats in, and it does knit up so fast. And they are beautiful socks. I tried it on and it looks great on my foot too. So it's just, it's really, really pretty. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful sock. So this has been the week of the sock, you guys. Um, and I would not be surprised if I have this pair of socks done. Um, when I start podcasting at the, or vlogcasting at the beginning of the week next, or at the end of the week next week, I can't talk. Anyway, so that is all that I have for you guys this week. I'm sorry it wasn't a lot of content. Um, it's just kind of been a week of adjustment and readjusting back to school, which makes things you know, there's a, there's a curve to that. So thank you so much for coming and spending a week with me and seeing what we've been up to. Um, I thank you for checking us out. I won't be with you. You won't see me next week, but you'll see me in two weeks. Until then, have a great last little bit of summer. And if you're back to school, I hope back to school has gone well. And I'll see you in two weeks. Bye.